everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running in Style. Today I'm revealing my Easter spring dress for the tag Easter spring dress 2017, which was started by Akram of Akram's idea and D of Judith D's world. Now the whole idea behind this tag was to challenge us to create a beautiful spring inspired dress as we enter into that wonderful warm season not forgetting the cold that chills us a little bit sometime and I also feel that these sort of tags are very helpful to introduce us to other individuals that love sewing and being creative with their hands so I think it's a wonderful idea to continue these tags and challenge ourselves and make new friends along the way so let's get on to my project I decided to go with Colette Patton's Rue which is a project that I've wanted to start for many months now and I'm finally getting to it Okay, now let's talk about this project. I decided to go with a beautiful floral fabric as you can see. I picked this up at Joann's but not for the life of me. I can find it online to leave for you guys. So hopefully before this is uploaded I could find this or something similar on their website or just link to other beautiful projects. <laughs> or I could link to other beautiful fabric. This fabric feels sort of um, like a polyester crepe because it does have a, a stiff feel to it but I'm kind of nervous to really put the iron on it. I think it might singe a lot but it has a beautiful drape and I will insert footage periodically throughout this video. Now I wanted to ensure that the sizing was appropriate and I didn't have any errors so I was a bit nervous because every time you're trying something for the new um, every time you're trying a project for the first time you are just unsure of the fit and that's always important so I always make my patterns a size 12 just because I have a broad shoulder and I'm a little above average in height so I go for the 12 whereas normally or for any fabric options in a project that requires something with a, a little knit or elastine I usually go with a size 8 to 10 but for woven fabrics I stick to the 12 it just gives me more room if it's needed so this was cut at a 12 and I followed the instructions completely usually I go my own route and I do my own thing but not for this and it was amazing like I was saying the instructions for this project is amazing I am in awe I'm really shocked at how awesome the instructions are by Colette I felt like I could be blind and follow these instructions and make an amazing project so the dress is completely lined on the inside I really love this scoop neck as well as the detail that you will see in the footage around the waist and the bust line it is perfect to use for color blocking it's great if you wanted to change out the material or use some lace or do some pin tucks I mean it is a beautiful design that you can turn into your own by putting your stamp on it. It also has an invisible zipper which is my favorite zipper to insert and the hem is nice and wide and I did mine by hand as well as the the lining of the shoulder I did by hand. I didn't do the clean finish. I couldn't quite wrap my mind around it because the directions that they gave um, through their video was more for a sleeveless project and this is obviously not a sleeveless project so it it was a bit challenging. I just decided to hand stitch. I like hand stitching anyway so I might as well just do what I like. Now I'm cheating because I do have my blog post 
and I'll leave a link to that in the description but I wanted to make sure that I covered everything I do have some detailed photo as well so I will put those in along with the footage so you guys can take a good look at the design overall I don't think that there is anything else I wanted to say about this because the project went smoothly um, the execution was flawless and I am totally in love with the fabric and this design so let me know if you have any questions but there you have it this is my project for the hashtag easter spring dress 2017 thank you again akram and d for this wonderful challenge if you'd like to see more beautiful designs go out to instagram and use the hashtag as well as on youtube and just google the hashtag and see if you can find any bloggers out there that has taken part in this wonderful challenge thank you so much for watching my channel and this video i really do appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful day bye